and welcome again to the Creativity Cabinet. I just realized recently that I hadn't done a haul video in a while, so we're going to do this haul video. It's today I went to Menards and I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some stuff for the holidays and for other things. Um, I'm going to start with Menards. For those of you who don't know, Menards is a big home improvement store. It's kind of like Home Depot or Lowe's, but I think it's regional. It's, I think they only have it in the Midwest. Um, I like to call it a big-ass store that has everything under the sun in it. Um, because in addition to all the home improvement stuff, it has groceries, it has pet supplies, it has health and beauty products, it has uh, even has some clothing. It just has all kinds of stuff. It has home cleaning products, all kinds of stuff. What I like about Menards is that they have a loyalty program in the form of rebates. And... Um, it, in every Menards ad, you want to look for the rebate offers. Uh, many times things will be free after rebate, or they'll be very small, like 49 cents or 99 cents after the rebate. The rebate comes in the form of a merchandise credit, and there are three really, really super great things about these, these Menards rebates. One is that um, the limits are usually very generous. Like, if you get something for free after extra bucks at CVS, usually the limit is maybe one, maybe two. At Menards, it's likely to be 10, maybe 15. That's number one. Number two is that um, the merchandise credits, which come in the form of a postcard. Um, let me show you one of them. Comes in a form of a postcard like this. Um, can um, they can be used to buy anything at Menards and they don't expire. How awesome is that? I mean, at like CVS, you have to, you have about a month to use your extra bucks and at Walgreens, it's even worse. You have, have a, only about two weeks to use register rewards. But these, th these things never ever expire. So you can just sit on them and wait until you want to, uh, something that you really want to buy is available. Um, and the third thing is, is that you can roll these. So let's see, this one says plastic storage bin, cordless engraver, touchscreen cleaning wipes. These were items, um, I think, um, I think I may have gotten all three of these items for free. Um, um, I basically got all their purchase price back on the merchandise credit. And then I was able to use my credit to buy more free stuff which means that you can just keep rolling these over and over and over again. So that's why if you live in an area where they have Menards, you should really check it out. Um, check their ads. Um, the way it works is that um, you buy the item and you get your receipt. Here's my receipt. And at the bottom, it has these little things called rebate receipts. So they look like this. And then you go to the rebate center, which is in the store. It's usually right behind the checkout. And you... Um, Look at the numbers on here, like this says 7513. And so um, I would have to look and find the rebate form that has that number on it. And it looks like this, 7513. Actually, usually the, the, the ones at the rebate center look like this. Um, and they come on little pads. Um, but if you happen to forget to, to do that, you can go into Menards.com and print off the rebate forms that you need. Some of them look like this because they run out of them in the store, and so they just use the store's computer to print off more of them. And then all you have to do is you send you send your rebate receipt and your filled out form in the mail, and then you get one of these cards that has the the the, um, the merchandise credit on it. Um, and oh, a nice thing about this is that um, you don't have to use this all at once. Um, if you buy less than, than the amount of it, then it's kind of like a gift card, you know, that you have the, the rest of it remaining. So, um, so let me, let me show you what I got at Menards. Um, okay, the first item is kind of big here. Big old piece of wood. Now, you might think I, I got this for some sort of big paint project or something, but actually not. Um, what I got it for is that I'm going to be doing some target dupes that are going to involve punching holes in things. And I'm probably just going to do that by, by using a hammer and, and nail method, but I don't want to get holes in my table. So this, the whole purpose of this big piece of wood 
is to serve as a work surface for when I'm basically punching holes in things. And that way it'll, it'll just go into the wood rather than in the... This was only about four bucks, which is not too bad because it's a nice big piece of wood and it's nice and thick like that. I also got... I saw these yardsticks and they were only... What was the exact price there? Um, they're 98 cents each. And they're actually made out of a nice piece of long piece of wood. So these are not just, they're not going to be used for yardsticks. They're going to be used in a project somewhere, probably to make a frame of some sort. So I got four of them for that purpose. I mean, I'm not going to use four of them in one big thing, but I'm going to use my little hacksaw from Dollar Tree to cut them apart. But I wanted them for more than one project, so I got plenty. So let's, let me show you. Okay. Now, there's one really big, humongous reason that I went to Menards today. Why go to Menards today? It's because they had for free after rebate stuffies, stuffed animals, and I just love stuffed animals. Look at this guy. He's so cute. He's a little triceratops. They're $4.99 and you get $4.99 back as a rebate, so they're free. And then I got this cute little owl. I haven't named them yet. Yes, they're going to be my stuffed animals because I absolutely love stuffed animals. And I already have a ton of them, but I just could not resist getting stuffed animals this size for free. And then I also got this uh, granite tough knife to use in the kitchen. Um, I have a, a Ginsu knife that actually works pretty good, but it requires you to kind of saw and it's not very heavy. And I was hoping that maybe I could get a knife that's a little bit heavy for doing things like chopping nuts and stuff. We'll see if this works. This was 99 cents after rebate. And then I got these four pack of barbecue lighters and they're 99 cents after rebate. So four for 99 cents, that's pretty good. I'm gonna use one of them in one of my um, Dollar Tree $5 gift baskets. I'm gonna make a s'mores basket, so it'll include a lighter to light your campfire. Um, but th these are good for all, all different kinds of purposes. So um, I got these, and I think that's everything at that I got at Menards. So let's move on to Dollar Tree. I had quite the haul today, got three bags worth, actually four bags because I I always, when I go to my weekly trip to Dollar Tree, I buy uh, four Sunday papers to get the coupons. That's a great deal because normally you have to pay, I think, two or three dollars a piece for a Sunday paper and they're a dollar a piece. So I get them for the, the, the coupons. So, um, so I'm not going to show you that because those are out in the car. Um, but I'm going to show you all this other stuff that I got. Most of it's going to be for Christmas gifts. And I'm going to be doing later on a video on $5 Dollar Tree gift baskets. It's basically going to be, be these little gift baskets that cost $5 or less for mostly Dollar Tree materials. So let me show you what I got here. Here, Let's just go as far as what we got going on. Okay. Um, I got these for myself. They're... Um, uh, cupcake liners, and they're cute, black and white, and they're Cake Mate, which is a very good brand. Um, I often will make muffins as part of my healthy meals, and so um, I'm in need of these little liners, and I, th I, th I think I'm running out, so I, I just got some, got myself some more for a buck. Uh, then, oh, okay. Got these. Let me show you these. And I'm going to explain project that I got for them. Um, aren't these cute? They're little felt leaves and they have um, little clothespins on the back. Um, I got at Target, uh, and I think I'll wait to show you that for when I actually make the video. I got this beautiful big um, board that has a tree on it. The tree doesn't have any leaves on it, but it just has this kind of really nice tree silhouette. And it looks really farmhousey, and it's big. It's about as big as maybe my board as I got at Menards. And I wanted to make a. I knew I wanted to, to make a gratitude tree for Thanksgiving for that. And I think these are going to be the perfect things because what you, what I can do is I can hot glue these 
there, and then people can use, you can use the clothespins to clip on the little notes that are about what things you're grateful for. So that's going to be in an upcoming video. So I got four of these packages. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Something that fell on the floor. Okay, this is going to be, one of my baskets is going to be a nail care basket. And this is really a cute little thing. It's, it's a foot file, um, emery boards, and one of those little brushes that you use to clean your nails out with. Oh, and there's a nail clipper in there too. So that's going to go in my little nail basket, my $5 nail basket. Um, and let's see. This is going to be the basket for the nail basket. This is a nice little container. Um, this is a two-pack of nice little zipper containers. What these are going to be is they're going to be gum and mints containers. You can get multi-packs of gum at Dollar Tree, and also um, there will probably be some Black Friday deals on gum. Um, and I'll, uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to um, put a bunch of gum and mints in these. I've actually done this other Christmases, and um, I, you know I take them to my in-laws where there's a big gift exchange, and these end up being rather popular. So I'm definitely going to do that again. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Bath sponges, four of them for a dollar. That's pretty good. I'm going to be making little kind of mini spa buckets that are also going to be five dollars or less. That'll they'll have kind of bath, bath and body kinds of products in them, and um, so it's nice to be able to get get these. These are would be only a quarter a piece. Okay, okay, I got some some um, wonderful kitchen things Ooh. that I'm going to be making into something for a gift. I like to watch Jerry Ann Henson, and she would love these. I don't know if she's ever gotten any of these so far, but look at this. She loves the, the whole red truck thing. I think the red truck thing is, is kind of cute, too. Um, so I got this. The, this is the kitchen towel. Then there's these pot holders. It's a set of two. And a oven mitt. And what I'm probably going to do is, that's $3 here. I have to, uh, then $2 left. I'm probably going to put, I think I'm going to put a, a mix in here. I think I got some brownie mixes and maybe a, a mixing spoon in there to make a, a gift in addition to all this stuff. And that'll be a gift basket. Um, in addition, they had... Gingerbread cookies, oven mitt, oven mitt here, and um, um, the potholders. And um, I, I like this one because it actually has a recipe on there. I'll let you see that for gingerbread cookies. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in here, but um, um, I wish they, that they would have had like a gingerbread cookie mix, but they didn't. Um, but We'll see. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Ah, this is going to go into the, the nail care uh, basket. It's got cotton balls, Q-tips, and little cosmetic sponges in it. So, um, and that it's nice and small. will fit right in there. So, rather than getting a big bag of cotton balls, I got that. And we've got... Oh, let me show you these. These are wrapped, wrapped up because they're breakable. These are going to go in my little spa baskets. I just think they're so stinking cute. They're little soap dishes. Look at this. There's, this one looks like a baby chick. And then I got another one that looks like a little dog. Aren't those cute? I think they're just really stinking cute. So those are going to go in the little spa buckets for people to take it out. And then, let's see. Oh, got some nail polish remover. That's going to go into the um, nail bucket. So, um, giving you guys a preview here. That one's almost. Com that one's pretty much complete. I've, I've got this, 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 um, and this. And then I got two bottles of nail polish that I got at CVS for 49 cents a piece that are going to go in there, and that will be $5 total. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to be making, inspired by another YouTuber, and I don't remember what her name is, but she made a, a dry erase board that looked like an old um, enamelware uh, tray. And so I'm going to do that. I got, I got some um, pens. These are dry erase markers. Um, I looked for ones that were magnetic and I couldn't find them. Not at Dollar Tree. But then I realized, you know what? I probably could find, I bet I have some magnets floating around here. I probably could just hot glue some magnets onto these and then that, they would be magnetic and they would stick to the board. Okay, let's see what else we got here. All right. I got these Betty Crocker mug treats. And let me show you, um, at CVS, I got some really cute, I got two really cute little mugs. It says, it's snuggle weather. Isn't that cute? Um, those are from CVS, but I'm going to be putting a bunch of mug things in them. These might not fit, but we'll see. We'll see. I might, I might be able to make it work with, um, with wrapping. Um, but they're also going to have, like, cocoa mix in it and stuff. Um, and then... Oops. Oh, I got some of these chopping mats um, because um, I think I'm going to be using these to make a sort of a frosted background on some of my Target dupes. So we'll, we'll see about that. Um, and then, ooh, I got this. This is a sink mat. I'm not going to use it for that. Um, what I'm going to use it for is that there's a Target dupe that I'm planning on making that has this wonderful crisscross galvanized metal background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna paint it with my chalk paints to look like galvanized metal. And then it, it, I'll have like a, an image on, on the front of it. Um, but I think this will, this will look really cool. This is just like the perfect thing for that. Okay. And let's see. Oh, here's something that I wasn't expecting to find. Look at these. Aren't those cute? Now, I'm probably not going to use the image, but what I really, really like is the, is this frame. Look at that, that wonderful distressed wood look of this frame. So I got two of them. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put something else in the frame. So that, that will be a DIY to come. Um, then let's see. Oh. I got this um, tag-shaped sign, which it's not a bad sign, but I'm actually going to use the back of it to make a target deep sign. I was looking for one that was nice and oblong, so th this should work. That'll be a video to come. And then I got this cake pan, and this is going to be another target dupe. Um, I saw this really, really cool clock. Now the clock was oval, but it, it, it looked like it was in an oval-shaped pan. I know I knew I couldn't get an oval-shaped pan, but I could certainly get a round pan at Dollar Tree. And so this, this is going to become a clock. That's, that'll also be a video to come. And th this is going to become the dry erase board. So that'll be another video to come. That's a cookie sheet. And then I have one more bag here. Oh, I found this cookie cutter set, and I'm, I'm gonna definitely, I wanna try to make a cookie jar. Um, I got this, this delightful little um, cookie monster figurine, and he's for me, but I, I wanna try to get another one and put it on top of a, a jar to make a little cookie jar, and then it'll have cookie things in it. And I'll probably have some of these cookie cutters, although I'm gonna save this gingerbread man one, probably to go with the gingerbread bread man mitt and, and pot holders. Um, I got some of these Mrs. Fields cookies. These are really, really good. And that those are probably going to go into the cookie jar that I'm going to make. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, we got some mixes here. Cookie mints. This will probably go in the cookie jar, the, the, the chocolate chip mix. And then... I'm thinking that I may put the fudge brownie mix in with the the uh, red truck mitt um, stuff and probably put the peanut butter one with the gingerbread man stuff. 
So I got those nice Betty Crocker cookie mixes. Those are good quality. Um, let's see. Oh, I got some of these. These are um, furniture scratch markers, and they're in the colors of wood. So um, I'm thinking that these could come in handy with, with some of my DIYs where I use wood. And there, there might be an easy way to, like, stain some small items, like those little Jenga blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree. Um, and then, oh, okay. Um, of course, I w uh, mainly went to Dollar Tree to pick up some of my grocery items that I need for my meals for next week. I needed some coconut milk, so I got some coconut milk. That, Dollar Tree is the go-to place for that. that. That's where I found it to, to coconut milk to be the cheapest. Um, that's going to go into a curry recipe that I have. Aha! These are also going to go in the, the little spa baskets. These are really nice. They're bath salts. Um, it says... Bolero bath soap, coconut oil, and sea salt. So that's nice. So I got two of them because I'm going to make two baskets. Um. Okay, so since I got soap dishes, I'm going to need to include some bar soap. So this is a nice three-pack of the Jurgens, which is a nice, um, a nice skin-friendly um, bar soap to include with the soap dishes. Um, I needed some more cayenne pepper. Uh, Dollar Tree is a great place to go to get spices. They don't have a huge selection, but they have most of the most common ones that you use, and they come in these great big bottles for a dollar. Oh, and then this is also going to go in with the cookie making stuff. It's, it's sprinkles to go on your cookies. Um, and that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this, and stay tuned for a whole bunch of, of new DIY vi videos for Christmas where I'll be using a lot of these items. Um, as usual, um, take care everyone and go out and make art.